CataractCoach.com, MSICS for suit exfoliation with zonular loss. Zonulopathy so severe that the caps or bag is removed. Now, here's the pre-op picture. Look at the pupil margin. All that white suit exfoliation material, how the lens is right up against the backside of the iris. That's a bad sign. So here, surgeon already places parts playing a port in preparation for this. Now, you'll also notice on this case, be careful of the tripan blue dye because it's on your lopathy, you may get it into the vitreous cavity. So here, making an incision. You can see that long incision here. That's a scleral tunnel being made in the MSICS manner. And as you start the rexus, look, there's motion or mobility of the entire nucleus. So surgeon here gets a nice big rexus. That's important. A generous rexus here. And some of these pseudo exfoliation cases, the zonulopathy can be really quite severe. So here, now getting the nucleus up, getting it out of the capsular bag, and it's a nice dense nucleus. You can see how opaque it is. And once you get this up in the anterior chamber, you can extract the whole nucleus. Now, I've already explained to you, all phaco surgeons, you should be able to do a beautiful MSICS procedure. If you don't know how, you got to learn it. The onus is on you. You got to do that. Go to the Cataract Coach website. I have videos exactly to teach phaco surgeons how to learn MSICS. I promise it's not that hard. Now, once this nucleus is up in the anterior chamber, enlarging the incision, notice how it's funnel shape or trapezoidal, wider on the inside than the outside. Plenty of viscoelastic to protect the cornea and slowly extracting the nucleus. There it is. You don't want to script the endothelium. There's the nucleus delivered very nicely. And now what's going to happen? Okay, I like this idea, suturing up the incision before trying to do any cortex removal. And now look, the entire caps or bag just comes out of the eye. This is how bad the zonulopathy is. Look at this. So the caps or bag, including all the lens cortex, is just going to be pulled right out of the eye with your capsular rexus forceps. There simply is not enough zonular support here. Now, could you do other maneuvers like put in a couple of capsular tension segments? And you can do anything you want to do. But I want to show you that this surgeon has a different approach. Now, going in with the vitrector here, now you see the infusion is going parse planar there at the top left of your screen. In the right hand here by the paracentesis, looks like a vitrector being be done. And now hand switched. Now you got the vitrector going through the pars plana, infusion in the anterior chamber of the eye. And here we go, cleaning up everything. Looks pretty reasonable here. Put a little triamcillone perhaps, make sure you don't have any more vitreous that's prolapsing. And once all that's cleaned up, AC IOL, anterior chamber IOL. What about that? Now you may not think it's as cool as doing a scleral fixated IOL, but let me tell you, in meta-analyses, it is shown to be equally effective. And you already have a large incision here for removing the nucleus. Look how round the pupil is. That tells you that you have the foot plates in the correct orientation. Now slowly rotating it, getting this nicely rotated. Now these are angle-supported lenses, so you should measure the white to white, and then maybe add a half, maybe one millimeter to get the appropriate sizing. Now suturing up the incision here, removing the pars plana port. And look, again, a round pupil, meaning you don't have any iris bunched up against the foot plates of the ACA lens. So beautiful result. Here's post-op day one. That'll all clear up, and patient will be very happy. I like this case. Remember, check out our podcast, the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. It'll teach you to be a more successful surgeon. Check it out.